Do you want to know what Tank Davis had to say about Mayweather promotions and that relationship? Well, stay tuned to this video. Roll the clip. Put out on social media, listen, my contract's up. Um, talking about Mayweather promotions. They want me to fight this clown so bad. That's why they want me to fight this clown so bad. Uh, do you believe that's why this fight is happening? Uh, I don't think so. I think I, I would just, I would just, you know what I mean, messing around on Twitter, but I feel as though um, we actually can do good with far as, far as um, pay-per-view numbers. I feel as though he's he got enough. You know what I mean, I think he's a top uh, lightweight. You know what I mean, I can say. You know what I mean, he got his way here. Um, we're under the same bandana. Uh, I feel as though, you know what I mean, he's somebody that I don't need, but it'd be good for the sport because he's he tough. You know what I mean? And he got power, so, you know what I mean? He, um, people will be interested people, in that. Yeah, the people want to see knockouts. So. Yeah. Uh, do, has the time come, got to ask you this, has the time come for Tank Davis to take control of his own career and leave Mayweather promotions? It don't, have, it don't necessarily have to be leave Mayweather promotions, it's about just... Uh, becoming that man, handle your own, your own, you know, responsibility, your own priorities. So uh, it feels, I feel as though it's, it's my career, so I feel as though I need to be the one to control my career. You know what I mean? So, um, and it's time. You know what I mean? Everybody don't need to, you know, have them training wheels on them forever. You know what I mean? It's time to, you know, ride their own bike without training wheels. So this is your last fight with Mayweather promotion? Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir, says Javante Tank Davis. That's an interview from Brian Custer where Brian Custer is asking some of the questions that the fans have been wanting to know. Tank posted that tweet saying his contract is up. That's why they want me to fight this clown. He says that Roley, you guys heard the clip, Roley being a pretty good talker and he talked his way into his position or worked his way up the rankings. He's my mandatory. It could do good on pay-per-view and that's what it is. Regarding the situation with Mayweather Promotions, Tank Davis, you know, he he reiterated what he already told you, that his contract is up. Yes, sir. Things like that. Um, I don't really know what it means. I'm not really too too much worried about it. I think at the end of the day, Tank Davis, he, you know, sounds like he wants to be his own man. And a lot of people, when Tank first put that tweet, they started saying, oh, he could sign with top rank and get with Eddie Hearns and things like that. And regardless of his situation with Mayweather Promotions, he didn't say anything about leaving PBC, Premier Boxing Champions. He didn't say anything about leaving Al Heyman. And if you guys remember, Floyd Mayweather did that interview one time, and he previously said, Mayweather Promotion, and Al Heyman, I got, a, I got a hell of a team, and we're basically one and the same. And Floyd was telling you that Mayweather Promotions and Al Heyman and PBC, they're just one like family. It's just an extension of the family. So, you know, whatever, best of luck to whatever Tank decides to do. He got to focus on Roley Romero, threatening puncher. Some people give Roley no shot. Some people are actually picking Roley. It's saying Roley's too big. And Roley, I think PBC has, has done a great job. They, they find a way to tap into the storyline and they have an all access. So they got good shoulder programming and Roley, I think is, he's doing his good, a good job as the B side and at least making people believe you have to understand certain fights when the fans don't believe that there, there is even the inkling or a possibility that the outcome could be different than what they expect. Then that becomes much, much harder to sell because who wants to see that? You know, you're like, oh, this guy Canelo is fighting Avni Yildrim, Rocky Fielding. I don't even know who that is, you know, but Roley, he's done a great job with the charisma, with the talking. He looks like he's in phenomenal shape. He is a bit bigger than Tank. If you look at the all accesses and you look at his highlights, you'll see he's a knockout guy with power. And another thing that only I am talking about as it's fight week, as this fight creeps up this Saturday, come back for the watch party is no one else is talking about this angle but when two guys are signed with the same imprint and 
have been in the same gym, you got to look at this. There might be little things that each person knows about the other person just because you you traded war stories in the same gym and you've been evolved with the same situation even though there was like they were supposed to meet up that's what Roly's claiming things like that and he said tank did a no-show you you guys have the same circles you know what i mean you both have leonard ellaby at both of your fights the people in mayweather gym you know that are training so people talk i i've been to the boxing gyms across the continental u.s so i know people talk you know at the end of the day people talk so people could know little quirks and nuanced things that others might not know until they get in the ring because if you have never fought with a person never watched them spar you don't have no intel on them no data on them so at the end of the day it's just you got to learn on the job and figure them out as you're fighting them but both roly and tank they have that advantage over each other at at least they probably have some intel like, oh, this person got hurt in sparring or this person had a bad day in sparring. This person had a good day. This person has a great uppercut. So you, you kind of know what weapons and strengths and weaknesses to look out for. What would you think? I, I know uh, Floyd had responded. He said, I will always love Tank. Uh, I look at him as a son. Uh, he's got to do what's best for him. Uh, I feel like I've done a good job with him thus far, building him, putting him in good fights, great fights. Uh, he's steady growing, he's steady learning, but I'm proud of him. What would you think of his response? I feel as though the, the, the feelings is mutual. You know what I mean? It's nothing, it's nothing bad against, uh, I have bad blood with Mayweather promotion. I'm definitely appreciative that, you know, what they've done for me over the, over the years. And, um, it's no love loss, you know what I mean? It's just time for me to grow up and be my own, you know, my own man. Mm. There are a number of people who would say, I think that they've, they've somewhat coddled him and protected him from bigger fights. What do you think about that? I don't think so. I don't think so. Because it's like, who fighting each other? It ain't like, I'm just the only one not fighting nobody. Y'all not fighting nobody either. It just, they want to they, they wanna rush into, they, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I can't, I, I don't know. I can't even tell you. It just... It's always me, though. Yeah. They don't, they don't complain about nobody else. It's just me. Now, I agree with that part a thousand percent. It is just Tank. Tank Davis, no matter what he does, he's ostracized, he's criticized. And like he said, these other dudes haven't fought each other. Like, you know, we're getting to some good fights, hopefully. Like, I think George Cambosos, Devin Haney, that's a good fight. But at the end of the day, to me, that fight happening is kind of a fluke. Not on Devin Haney's part but on Cambosos. I don't think Cambosos truly wanted to fight. You look at the reports. Devin Haney was in the back of the queue. They were talking about George Cambosos wanted to fight Lomachenko or Ryan Garcia. So Tank is absolutely right. And the reason Devin Haney got the fight is because Lomachenko chose because his country is being invaded by Russia and he chose to stay at home and, you know, be the patriot and fight for his country, a bigger cause. Ryan Garcia, he, you know, you knew that wasn't going to happen for obvious reasons because of how his career is looking. So all in all, Tank's right. Everybody keeps saying him, him, him. But these other guys haven't fought. Devin Haney called out Ryan Garcia and Ryan was the mandatory, never fought. Teofimo said he's sending the contract to Cambosos and Devin Haney. They never fought. So why does it all fall on the shoulders of Tank Davis that he got to see and fight every single person in the division? You know, and at the end of the day, people... It's not like it's unlike a Canelo situation. Canelo has all the belts at 168. So rightfully so, Canelo Alvarez is being called out by David Benavidez. Morel's the mandatory. You know, he wants to fight these type of guys. But people, old media, they say Javante got a fake belt, this, that, and the third. But then they want him to fight everybody and fight Lomachenko. But Lomachenko ain't fought Teofimo. He ain't fought Ryan Garcia. He fought one guy that was with top rank and he lost to him. And they never did a rematch. Boom. Regarding Javante Davis, you know, I don't really care. This is boxing. You know, we've seen people, Manny Pacquiao was with top ranked and he left top rank. Floyd was with top ranked and he left top rank. Cotto, etc. So I don't really know. I'm not going to speculate too much further. This video was clearly shot after the press conference, the second one they did with Brian Custer, and they just leaked it on social media. So they've been sitting on this information. I don't know. So it's, it's about a month or so old maybe even longer. 
I don't know what Tank's situation is. All I know is Tank got to get beyond his next opponent, which is Roly, and then we'll take it from there. I don't have too many thoughts about who he's going to fight. You know, a lot of people, they're going to talk about like um, Tank and Devin. Brian Custer asked him about Devin Haney and stuff. But me, if you know my channel, that's not how I get down because one, Tank got to get past Roly, a threatening puncher, this weekend. Then the week after that, Devin Haney got to get past Cambosos. And not only does he have to get past him once, but there's a built-in rematch clause that will probably be exercised, so he has to get past him again in Australia. So that's a big cloud hanging over for me to say there's a sunny day to ignore the immediate forecast and see all these gray skies and rain and clouds and thunder and immediately move forth and say yo let me talk about Devin Haney and Gervonta Davis which that's really far out from what I'm seeing we're already five months into the year this month of May went by extremely fast at least to me you know hopefully you guys are entertained on the channel so I don't I don't look I know boxing I respect the sport I am the sport I am boxing so I just know better than to look too too far ahead right Look at Canelo versus Golovkin. They did that. They said, oh, man, we fighting Triple G3 next. He didn't even get past Bevel. Now, even though Canelo just came out today, video coming soon, I can't wait for that. And he said he's fighting Triple G Part 3. Nobody wants to see. You know, Bevel came in and upset Canelo and beat him. So it is what it is. Let me know how I did in this video. If you love it, love it. Subscribe, share, comment. And I'm out introducing super thanks right here on the official boxing ego youtube super thanks allows you the viewers to show a little bit of extra gratitude which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing underneath all the videos you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it you can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks a brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hybrid Nation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We working.